What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video where today we are starting things in the workshop and right here I've got my Ghost Riot Enduro bike which I absolutely love but before we go riding I want to experiment with a few things. Right here I've got a Fox DPX2 rear shock which is air as opposed to coil so I want to get this fitted and then go and give it a test. So you might be wondering why do I want to change the rear shock? Well, apart from the fact that this one's gold and is actually gonna look pretty sick in the bike, this one is an air shock and this one is a coil. Coil shock is actually amazing and they are very, very smooth. Like it feels so much nicer than this shock. However, they're not as adjustable and I wanna ride jumps this winter. So a coil shock, I could put a stiffer spring in, but with the air shock, because you can pump it up, you get a lot more adjustability you can make it basically a lot stiffer which is what i'm trying to achieve whereas the coil is very smooth and progressive for downhill and tech riding but i'm probably not going to ride too much of that on this bike my local spot mainly has jumps and for doing tricks this shock should be a whole load better so what we're going to do get this fitted here in the workshop and then we're going to load up the car and head to Twisted Oaks, which is our local spot, and give it a try on some of the jump lines. I'll tell you what's crazy, now they're both out, the air shock is a lot lighter than this spring here, which you can get titanium springs for that, which would obviously save weight, but that's like my first observation. One thing I didn't do actually is check to measure that it's going to fit. Perfect. There we have it then, shock change. It's actually such a simple thing to do, but obviously suspension shocks aren't that cheap. 250 PSI in there, 150 in the front, and I should have actually bounced on it beforehand to show you how soft it was, but now it's literally like the bike's so stiff. But you can adjust it, like I can go one stiffer there and it literally barely moves, or you can come round and still get a bit of suspension there. But this is perfect for what we're gonna ride. So I think we should leave the workshop and then go and give this a test. We've made it to the trails then, we're at Twisted Oaks and this is gonna be the first little ride on this bike with the upgraded shock. It's actually crazy, like it's so much stiffer now. So for like jibbing and stuff like this, it makes such a big difference. And the first trick I wanna do actually, is I wanna do a back wheel bad boy. Here we go then. Wow, good. <laughs> Here we go then. Oh, there's a double back wheel bad boy. Oh, there's dirt jumps that way. That was honestly so much fun. The bike is feeling absolutely insane. I wanted to show you how bad the sun is. I couldn't see anything yeah, when I was riding. If I like turn the ND up, <laughs> that's gonna be so horrible for everyone, but there we go. Yeah, that's what you're dealing with in your eyes today. But let's go over to a steep ramp actually, and just show you why a stiff bike is good on this type of jump. So basically when you've got jumps that are as steep and as tight as this one is with the transition, when you have a soft bike, the bike compresses a lot when you're in the ramp which means that not only do you lose speed, but that's gonna obviously impact the distance, the height, and the way the ramp feels. It just doesn't feel right. So by putting the air shock in, being able to pump up the front and the rear means that I can run the bike stiff. And every time I push into the jump, instead of the bike squidging, that push is going through the ramp, which in turn gives me pop height and maintains like a flow and a speed. So overall, it just feels a whole load better. We've had a big location change up. Twisted Oaks was actually running pretty bad because the weather's been insane. We were just messing around with like this fun little line. I'll show you quickly. This is the beginner way to get around the block. Nah, I don't fancy it. Intermediate trials rider. Yo. This one's pro. 
funny, that was inspired by TikTok. People do like amateur, intermediate, and then pro. Makes you look at things a little bit different, but there's a line over there which I want to hit. What I'm testing with this bike really is like how rigid the back end is because for trials that is exactly what you want. So I'm going to set Tom a challenge now and he's basically got to come in, wheelie, grab this pole here, spin around it and then navigate his way down this thin alleyway. Go, 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 down the path, down the path. Go, go, First go. Time. No way. Oh my God, that's unheard of. That's too easy, Cara. Your challenges are rubbish now. Oh. You need to set harder ones. We've moved into town now, and I've actually just found a really scary one, which has some planning. But what I'm planning to do, go over this rail, but I've just realized you could do that technique I did on the block and just like bounce over it simply. Oh my God. That's really scary. It works good though, doesn't it? Throughout this video, I've said the conditions are quite difficult. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna embrace them. I've come to these slippery metal benches and the plan is to get a bit drifty on them. I just found another bench and this one is so much more slippery than the one over there. So let's give it a test and see if we can then do this to a fakie, which is the plan. Oh. That's the one, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna go back with that. That was sick, that's a new little learn. And, you know, we're out here just embracing the winter conditions and using it to our advantage. I've just remembered a really, really insane zone, but that's actually quite hard to get onto. So the plan is to go up here. Oh. That's really high. Almost. Oh, oh, this is a horrible line. What a stupid idea. Oh, oh that was close. Okay, this is the one. Oh no, you've got to be joking. No. No. I was up, wasn't I? You were up, but then you were down. No. No. Yeah. There we go. I'm stuck with that. That was a tough line and really tight as you could tell. It was made even more difficult by the fact that it's just so slippery. There's no edge grip on anything, which means that when you're working in such tight proximities, if you slip that much, you're off. I'm stoked with that. We got one more because we're on a really good roll here. It's around the corner and we'll go send it. I've picked a real disgusting one for the finale. No space up there, no space here. You've got that, which when your back wheel hits it is gonna make your nose dive. Another factor is it's like ice. But that's kind of a reoccurring theme today and we're not gonna let it stop us. It's so awkward. <laughs> Bike. <laughs> well this video did take a little bit of a turn the plan was to be at the jumps for the whole day that didn't work out but I'm actually kind of glad in a way because I haven't been urban riding for a long time and that was really good fun and it's kind of inspired me to come out do a full video somewhere maybe get a bit of a squad together and see what we can make happen because urban riding is actually insane especially the creative element I love that side of it rear shocks working perfect so all in all this video has been a great success if you've enjoyed it please give us a thumbs up leave your comments down below and i will see you guys in the next video yeah.
I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shit tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a